So last time we left off here um, talking about the uh, design of the heart and the fact that um, fish have hearts that are two-chambered, they reproduce sexually, they have external fertilization, and they have gills, scales, and fins. Amphibians, let's take a look at those. Um, amphibians, of course, have slimy skin. And um, that is partly because they haven't fully uh, divorced themselves from a need for uh, living in the water. They must have water and land. Um, they breathe both through gills, skin, and lungs. And adults have three chambered hearts instead of two. Um, the, the circulatory system has two loops now. Um, blood vessels going up into the lungs. Blood vessels that go into the lungs have no ox or low oxygen. Blood vessels leaving the lungs have a lot of oxygen. That goes into the left atrium, and a single ventricle pumps it out to the body in blood vessels, um, in arteries, and veins bring that deoxygenated blood back to the right atrium, which then pumps it back to the lungs. Um, amphibians have a complex life cycle with a larva and tadpole stage. Um, they have sexual reproduction. And they also, just like fish, have um, external fertilization in the water. And just like fish as well, they are ectothermic. They get their heat from their environment. Reptiles, of course, have completely um, separated from living in a watery environment for the most part, except for things like sea turtles that live most of their life on land or on, in the sea and just come back up onto land to lay eggs. And certain extinct reptiles that evolved back into the ocean, plesiosaurs, pliosaurs, ichthyosaurs, mosasaurs, all those ancient giant creatures that evolved back into the ocean um, that are now extinct. They have thick scaly skin and that's to conserve water and they have an amniotic egg that means that it is a full service egg an egg that comes with all the water and nutrients that the developing embryo will need and the only thing that it needs from its environment is oxygen, which transports through the shell, through the shell membrane, and into the egg. Um, reptiles have internal membranes that conserve water as well. And they have um, things like lizards, snakes, crocs, gators, and turtles are um, the reptiles that we know about today. Of course, there's a, a whole plethora of extinct reptiles that are far more diverse than the reptiles that we know about today. That include things um, like the dinosaurs um, and other reptiles, um, like the Dimetrodons that gave rise to the mammals, um, and um, the reptiles that gave rise to the birds, which are non-dinosaur reptiles, two-legged, um, and pretty cool. Okay, I think we'll stop there, and don't want to overload you with too much information. Next time, we'll pick it up with the amniotic egg. What's that? <laughs>